there's no myth about it. It's there, it, and it's, it's real, and it will find you. Sort of shook me up a little bit then. I was pretty scared. We saw the, saw the garden light several, several times. That was one of the scariest I've ever been. All my life, I've loved to hear people tell stories. And when I was a kid, my dad loved to tell stories, mostly about the small Arkansas town that he grew up in. It was a pretty typical town, and most of the stories were pretty typical too, except for one. This story still sticks in my head today. It was the legend of the Gurdon Light. The Gurdon Light is a light that travels down the railroad tracks. It comes out of the woods, gets on the tracks back and forth, and has been seen as far as from here to Prescott that I know of. You just have to come see it. It floats about that high up off the ground, ball of, just a light, white ball of light, about like that. It just floats out there. And the closer you get to it, it may jump off 10, 15 foot, or it may jump a half a mile from you. And I've seen it go up and over your head and come down behind you, go to the side of you. <laughs> I spooky. The light starts coming on and going off, coming on and going off. And it went off when it got about 10 feet from us. The next time we saw the light, it was behind us. The first, first time I went down there, uh, there's a carload of us drove parked at the crossing and walked down there and I picked up a few rocks and, and uh, when they saw the light down there, it kept coming closer and closer. We was at the, standing at the first trestle and uh, so I hauled off to throw a rock down that away, see if it kept going to continue to advance. And when I did, I fell through the ties of the trestle. So when I fell and disappeared from sight, everybody else took off running back to the car. And I finally extricated my leg from between the ties of the trestle and, and limped back up there hoping they had skinned my shin. And I was hoping they hadn't totally abandoned me, but they was waiting at the car. So that was my first experience with the light. No one really knows what causes the strange lights or which version of the legend is closest to the truth on how it got started to begin with. But none of that really mattered to me. What I liked was hearing people's stories and the story getting passed down. Because one thing was for sure, people that had seen it knew it was real. Well, what I've always heard all my life growing up was it was a railroad work crew and the foreman was beat to death with a spike driver and he's supposed to be out there looking for his head roaming around roaming the tracks and that's what I've always heard growing up and the garden light the theory is that there was a man that was the brakeman they were switching cars from off the main track onto a siding and supposedly he gave a signal for the train to stop. The train evidently didn't see his signal or didn't stop. And it knocked him down and supposedly came across and cut off his head. Now, the story of the Gurdon light is that light is him holding a lantern coming back and looking for his head. Now, truth about it, I don't know if that's true or not. But I do know the Gurdon light is true. I've seen it many times. Well, the, it was a, the initial myth was it was a, a headless man uh, like the, the legend of Sleepy Hollow was a headless man looking for his head. The legend behind it is uh, one of the conductors or one of the guys on the railroad track got his head cut off. And that, that's what the light purpose is, that he's looking for his head. I never wanted to make this film about any sort of ghost hunt or to prove or disprove anything. I just wanted to hear these incredible stories from all these different kinds of people. But after a little soul searching, I decided I wanted to see the light too. Here we are, 
the tracks. Uh, and I guess here is my solo mission to try to see the garden light for myself. For myself and by myself. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. The sun was setting and the sound of coyotes could be heard off in the distance. It was getting dark fast and I didn't really know how far I had to walk or what I would find along the way. Tracks have been abandoned and out of use for so many years. They're really grown up brush and trees and all sorts of stuff. The sun is really going down fast too. It wasn't long before I came to my first train trestle. It was in pretty bad shape, but I knew I was on the right track. Just about every story I've ever heard about the Garden Light has some sort of train trestle involved. Just to add to the creepiness, just out here in the middle of nowhere is this graveyard. I had always heard that there was a graveyard along the way, but that just sounded too Scooby-Doo for me, so I thought it was definitely a myth. But here I am, in a graveyard, coyotes around, looking for a ghost light. That's pretty Scooby-Doo. It wasn't long after the graveyard when I came across the second train trestle. This one was in even worse shape, and it was way higher than the first one. With it getting dark soon, I knew I didn't need to be crossing too many more train trestles in this condition. So after the fourth one, I decided I'd find a spot to set up the camera, sit down, and wait. Cody seemed to have chilled out. Which is good. I thought it was kind of strange how everything was lining up. I had the train trestles, I had the graveyard, I had basically an element from every story I'd ever heard. And before long, the light appeared. The coyotes were extremely loud and the light was pretty nerve wracking. The only way I could really capture an image of it was with long exposure photography. It was so dark, there just simply wasn't enough light to capture it on video. But that's okay because that's not why I came. I didn't come to capture the garden light or prove anything, but I just wanted to be part of the group, the people that could tell stories. And now I definitely can. Many people have come out to these tracks and searched for the truth about the garden light. Scientists, photographers, and adventurers. One thing is for sure, people may come and go, but the legend of the Garden Light is here to stay. See that train coming down the track, I'm inside and ain't coming back on home. See that train coming down the track, I'm inside and ain't coming back on home.